Hello, America. You know who this is. It's Alex Como, your American Eagle. I've been called a liar about all this. I've offered them a demonstration. Of course, they won't uh, take me up on it. Um, <clears throat> I want you to know that I prayed about this, just like that military lady who put that video out. <coughs> and uh, quite frankly, I, I can't hold back any longer. New World Order is going to try to kill millions and millions of people around the world. They want to take over the world. They want everything we have. Uh, and some things you need to know is I watched a video and it's available to you. Um, every major building, government building and so on, has designs in it like swastikas, pyramids, the Tower of Babel and so on and so forth. New World Order is real. Very real. Uh, one of the things you need to know is a lot of Germans came over here during World War II. They've infiltrated our country. We've been infiltrated for years, and uh, things are not good, folks. America is being subjugated, which means war, but here we sit, most of us, and do nothing. Well, I, for one, will not do nothing. You see that chair behind me? I have to put pillows behind my back and so on, just so I can sit. I'm, I'm sitting on pillows right now in my chair. Um, no, I can still fight. I just have a lot of pain. And I don't care about pain. It's nothing to me. I've been living with it since uh, 89. And then my second surgery was 92. Actually, I've been living with it a long time. I was uh, diagnosed with this uh, spine deteriorating disease, severe degenerative disc disease at 22 years old. But me, I just kept working and working hard, building restaurants and so on and so forth. Uh, that's how much my family means to me. I don't care about the pain. Sure, I made mistakes when I was young, but I'm 62 years old now, and I'm fed up. This is wrong, what's going on in our country. I got a lot of people tell me, oh, you don't look your age. You know what? I have aged 20 years in the past few years because of the stress and everything else. I've been to the hospital already, so has my son with anxiety attacks. Do you think that's right? No, it's not right. Why are people denied justice in this country? This country is founded on justice, liberty and justice for all. I want you people out there to realize that I'm telling you the truth. I am your American Eagle. I am an oath keeper and I will keep the oath my father and my brother and my family made me take. I also took other oaths and I don't intend to go back on them. When I changed who I was, because I played rock music for years. I did smoke pot, you know, and tried a few other things. But I was smart, and I stopped. Now, what you need to know is I can get a prescription right now for marijuana. But I'm not. Now, doesn't that tell you something about me? Okay? Um, we really need your help. Will you stand with us as we all stand for America? Will you please help my family? Can you at least email or contact, you know, like the police in Yakima and tell them, what have you done to this family? What is wrong with your police department? You did not fingerprint. You're calling them liars and they are the witnesses. What is wrong with your police department? Are you that corrupt? I mean, come on. Officer Fuhrer never made the report about the shooting. I don't think he even made the report about the assault on me at my restaurant by that woman. She kicked me in the back where I had surgery, hit me in the face and broke my glasses. She's a meth addict. She was off her meds. She's rapid cycling bipolar and nothing has been done about it. She's getting away just like her friends who ripped us off. See, she's the same girl that held the door open for the thieves. This was witnessed by one of my neighbors. Now, I really need people to understand I need help or my family is not going to survive. Myself, I could die any time. There's so much stress. It's incredible, and this post-traumatic stress disorder is from the crimes, okay? That day, when they tried to kill me, they're li they lied to someone and said, well, there was a girl crossing the street, and he almost hit her. You know what, folks? That never happened. I witnessed those people pull a gun at uh, Jackpot on 16th and Jerome in Yakima. There's a Jackpot gas station there, self-service. 
I had just filled up the tank on my 68, and as I was driving up the road after witnessing what they did, I went up the same street, because I didn't think anything about it. Um, <coughs> a car stopped in front of me, a small white car. A red-headed kid got out of the driver's seat, and two other dark-haired kids got out of the car. They came around the passenger side, and a rock came through the window. And as I threw her in gear and punched it, a bullet fired, and it ended up right next to my gas cap. This is all true, folks. Even my son knows it. Mary knew it. They all know it. Even my dad and mom knew it. Of course, they're gone now. But please, please, please help my family. I don't know what else to do. This is really, really bad what happened to my family. And my dad saved thousands of people from the camps of Germany. My brother was a U.S. Marine and he died o of a heart attack over this. I just can't believe America won't stand behind veterans. What, what, what's going on here, folks? What is the problem when I'm doing everything I possibly can? I'm risking my life just like John Dumay is. He has been threatened not only by Islam but the U.S. government. Now, what is going on here is a total takeover of our country. So please, please stand together. We've got to stop this. Rise, America. This is your call to arms.